Majority Leader in the National Assembly, Aiden Diwale, has called on opposition to observe decorum during the State of the Nation address by President Uhuru Kenyatta in Parliament this afternoon. He says President Kenyatta should be given the respect he deserves as the head of state and should not be disrupted because he is fulfilling his constitutional mandate. So the president is not going to Kibera, he's not going to Garissa. The president is coming to parliament as demanded by the constitution. If anybody wants to disrupt the house, then you go to the house procedure and uh, rules. You are men standing order 24-4 and uh, say that the president will not be heard in silence. He can be disrupted. If you do that, well and good. But for today, as that standard reads, the president will be heard in silence. Even, even the House is going on a recess this afternoon for 10 days. He spoke at a press conference where he was accompanied by TNA Chairman Johnson Sakaja. We are also very ready as Jubilee to defend this law and to defend the institution of the presidency. And we will be there to stand firm. I think Kenyans are looking forward to listen and to hear about what have the improvements been from the last state of the nation last year and this year, and what the president is actually telling them, their president. He is the president of those who elected him and the president of those who did not elect him, because there's only one Kenya. So we're going to stand firm. I'm glad the leader of majority has given you the provisions. Our standing orders are clear. This time we will not let the speaker be lenient. You know, last time he was very lenient, despite what the standing orders say. You know, when it provides for rules and procedures. I'm Angela Wamboy for Capital TV.